frequently in polynomial long division, you'll come across problems where you're missing a term. It's important to remember that exponents must be in descending order, or they must count down. with no gaps in between. If there's a term that's missing, we'll add it. An example of this would be something like 0x squared or 0x or just plain 0. To open that space up and fill it with a 0x squared or a 0x or a 0 is like just putting a placeholder in. Let's take example 1 for instance. We'll rewrite it as a polynomial long division problem, but you'll notice that we're missing an x squared term. So we'll put a 0x squared in, so our exponents are in descending order, or they count down. We'll just rewrite everything else as it appears in the problem, and perform our long division. We'll give ourselves some scratch paper. We're going to need to take 3x to the third, the first term in the dividend, and divide it by the first term of the divisor, which is x. This reduces to 3x squared. We'll put that in the quotient. Multiplying that to each term in our divisor, we get 3x to the third minus 12x squared. Notice that if we hadn't had this placeholder here, we would have had no place to put the negative 12x squared. It would have become a really frustrating problem. Now we'll just add our terms. In this case, we're going to get 12x squared going to drop down the next term, negative 50x, take the first term in the dividend, divide it by the first term of the divisor to get 12x, put that in the quotient, Multiply to each term of our divisor to get 12x squared minus 48x. Change the signs, add, and we get negative 2x. Drop down the last term, which is positive 4. Take that first term in the dividend, which is now 2x, divide it by the first term of the divisor to get negative 2. Put that in our quotient and multiply it to each term in our divisor to get negative 2x and positive 8. Go ahead and change the signs, add them together to get negative 4 as my remainder. Moving on to example 2, first let's look at the exponents to see if they're in descending order. They are indeed descending, but they don't count down. We are missing an x to the first right here, so when we rewrite it, as a long division problem, we'll need to add in a 0x.
We now give ourselves a divisor. We've given ourselves a placeholder, and we can move on to just plain old polynomial long division now. On our scratch paper, we'll take 2x to the third our first term in our dividend and divide it, divide it by the first term of our divisor to get 2x squared. Put that in our quotient, multiply it to each term in our divisor to get 2x to the third plus 6x squared. Change the signs and add. Drop our next term down. Take that first term in our divisor, or dividend, divide it by the first term of our divisor, there we go, and get negative 2x. Put that in our quotient, multiply to our divisor to get negative 2x squared, minus 6x. Change the signs and add to get 6x. Drop down the next term. Take that first term in our dividend, divide it by the first term in the divisor again to get 6. Put that in the quotient. Multiply that to each term in the divisor. We'll get 6x plus 18. Change the signs once again and add. And we get negative 9 as our remainder.